city my whole life. Was married here, worked here, raised kids here. Having said that, it's unbelievable how this city's leaders like Mayor Bloomberg and Ray Kelly can advocate taking money away from the classroom so some nonprofits can push their agenda into our community. I'm sorry, but these are our children, and I trust that our teachers and our schools to get these kids into college. Not these expensive after school song and dance programs that teach absolutely nothing useful. Places like the All Stars Project demand tax breaks and then go around asking the community to fund their little games. This is America. Last time I checked, I didn't live in the dark day corners of the communist dictatorship like North Korea or the socialist hippie commune like Sweden. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Let's try a scene.
let's get started. I'm sure y'all are very excited to get your math test back. I'm so nervous. I did so bad on this last year. It's really hard. Um, don't worry. I think you did a pretty good job. You are like um, the last person to turn on that test. That's a good sign. <laughs> now, I'm disappointed to tell you all that although the test did cover a unit you previously went over in this Tanner's class last May, not many of you did too well.
the spring. It's called Our Town, and it's really interesting. Well, I have to do some homework before I go to bed. Tell me if you're coming to my play. Good night. Sincerely, Sam. Sam folds the letter and puts it in an envelope that is sitting on the desk. He writes the address on it, finds some stamps in the drawer, and sticks them on. Without getting out of the chair, he bends down to unzip his backpack and takes out a copy of Romeo and Juliet, that Nadia gave him earlier in the day. He takes a deep breath, opens to the first page, and begins to read out loud. Two households, both alike and dignity. The end.